Hey everyone, what's going on? TXC here. So today I'm going to be going over the features of FlixPress.com more in depth. Now I already went over, you know, how you can make your template and all that. Not template, your intro and all that. So I'm not going to be going over that in this video. So if you, but if you would like to learn more about that, just go to my channel, YouTube.com/TechXCentral. It should be one of my first videos. So when you have when you are done creating your template or your intro and you want to edit it and you download the standard file and you can't open it up in your video editor like iMovie or Windows Movie Maker this is what I'm going to be going over also I'll be showing you guys uh, the enhancement it has the features it has on the YouTube editor as well so if you want to use the YouTube editor on this, you just go to youtube.com slash editor and then if you have your video uploaded already of your sample intro or your intro or whatever, like mine's in here, then you just drag that into there. But if you don't know how to upload it directly from the website, you just press that YouTube button right there, enter your YouTube login details like your email, your password, your video title, and your description press upload it only takes a couple seconds and then it will be on your YouTube channel and then you can just drag this into the YouTube editor and you can edit some of the features of the intro and you can um, you know change all of the features that you have access to on the YouTube editor now if you want to make it part of another video you have, you just drag another video, then you can add a transition to make it seem more smooth, and bam, there you go. You can also add music with the with the editor, and here are some of the uh, um, videos that are available to use in the editor, and that's basically how you can use it with the YouTube editor. Now, say you want to use it for iMovie, like I will be using. You can also use it with Windows Live Movie Maker. It's basically the same thing, but I'll be going over that in another video. And um, so you just to convert the file for a iMovie format, you just go to that little gear right there, then convert to move. Now if you're on Windows Live Movie Maker, convert to WMV. Now, if you don't already know how to import it to Windows Live Movie Maker, it's pretty simple. You just drag the video in there and you're done. But for iMovie, you can't do that, so I'll be going over how you can do it there. So you just convert to move if you're on iMovie, then WMV for Windows, and then download file. When you've done that, it will give you this. I've already downloaded it two times, so let me just um, cancel that. Oh, oops. Oh, well. Um, here it is. It opens up in QuickTime. And now I'm just exit out of here. Now, if you open up iMovie, let me just start a new project here. Okay, so here is all of my files and stuff. So, okay, so here's the intro. Um, let me just show you guys how you can import it. Just go to File. And then import, then movies. That's as simple as it is. Then you need to locate where it is on your computer. Mine was in my downloads, so here it is. Um, here's all the copies I have of it. But the move one is the one that is highlighted, or the one that is um, in black. The ones that you couldn't use was the MP4. Now it wouldn't allow you to use that in iMovie because of the um, file format and so let's just put this into iMovie you just press import once you selected it it shouldn't take too long and uh, it will process the event let me just pause it and I'll be back when it's done alright so here it is in my events right here I'll just press command A to, to select all of it and then I will just drag it on to my timeline now you can edit the features of it, or if you like it the way it is, you can keep it the same. But I'm just going to be showing you guys a little features you can do on it to make it seem cooler. 
um, and to personalize it more. So when you edited the video, you came up with, or you, you didn't have much colors you could you can you could do. And so um, with right here where the white point is, you can actually change the colors of it just by using this, and it's very easy to use. And you can keep that. You can change some of the audio parts of it, the clip um, effects, and so you can change the um, video effect on here. One of the coolest ones I think is either romantic or aged or uh, glow right there, and um, it gives it a really cool effect on it. You can also speed up the video by using this. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> change the direction of it or you know you can just mess around with this stuff and then if you want to you just add your video in there as you can see I can't drag it in which makes me kinda mad all I have to do is do the same thing alright so here is one of my videos I have created and it's actually on YouTube but um, I'm just going to be importing it into this project yep and we just drag it in like that and now when you let's just when the intro is done it's kind of um, a choppy experience when it transitions into the video so to make it uh, transition better you just go to the uh, transition options right here you can do this in um, Windows Live Movie Maker just by going up here there should be a tab for transitions you click on that and you find the one you would like and you just drag it to the video. So uh, this one looks good. Pretty much the same thing you're seeing in Windows Live Movie Maker. Drag that in, or if you're using regular Movie Maker too. And then, hey guys, bam! There we go. You can also change the duration of it just by going to Transition Adjustments, then change it to like three seconds or whatever. Hey guys, what's going on? TXC here. So today's video. And there we go. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Please remember to check out my other videos and subscribe. This video was created for youtube.com slash flickspress. And so make sure you guys check out flickspress.com. And um, you guys will really enjoy what they offer on their website. So make sure you check out their channel on YouTube. And also check them out on some of the social network sites including Twitter and Facebook and make sure you register for flickspress.com. Alright guys, so thanks for watching and subscribe.